Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really nice pink Princess telephone. This is Nancy's telephone from Michigan. And uh, Nancy's got a letter here and she says that she'd like the light replaced. And basically, um, this is a hardwired telephone, so it's of the age. Um, give you a little look at it. This is the initial checkout. Um, you don't see uh, a whole lot of these pink ones. Uh, I know they're out there, but uh, it's pretty uncommon to see them. And uh, I can see that there's a nick in this one. We're going to try to kind of square that up for her a little bit and, and get that taken care of. But uh, it's an original telephone, an original princess. And um, she says she'd like to have the light replaced. But uh, this is of the age, this telephone, that you need a transformer to light the light. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the light out. I'm sure the bulb is good. In most of these, uh, they always are good. It's basically um, what it comes down to is you have to have a transformer to light them, and um, that's the issue. And the transformers are, are generally missing uh, when people receive these telephones. Now, some of these Princess telephones, some of the, uh, the newer ones, uh, had a circuit in them that would actually light a light. And here's your light bulb. And uh, we're going to check this light bulb just to make sure that it's good. But it has nothing to do with anything uh, because the light bulb is not going to light without a transformer. It has to have voltage. Light is definitely good. So we know the light is good. Um, we will talk to Nancy and see if she wants to um, if she wants us to locate a transformer for her and make that connection. Another thing that is uh, wrong with this telephone is that someone has um, severed the original line cord. And so basically, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that out. There's no sense in putting that in right now. And um, it's got a date code here, 161. So it looks like the first month in 1961. It's really a nice telephone. Um, I haven't had a look inside of it. Maybe we'll pull the cover off because this is the initial checkout of this telephone. And uh, why don't we go ahead and do that real quick. We'll go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Do that for you real quick. Some of these uh, some of these princess phones had uh, the circuitry in them that would light a light, and then others had like LEDs in them that the, the, even the newer ones. But then uh, the princess telephone kind of went away after the signature series, I believe. And um, a really cool telephone. It gives you a look at the inside here, and it does not look like it's been painted. This is factory and uh, it's a pink telephone. Now see some of these telephones went in and uh, were uh, reworked and, and they would paint them. They would paint some of them and this one's not been painted. This telephone is of the era that it does not have a bell. If you notice there is no bell in this telephone because when they were uh, the telephone company was producing these early princess telephones uh, they still assumed that you were running uh, at your home or your small business or business or whatever that you had a bell box. So what would happen is they would take these 
uh, line cords and they would go over and hardwire them into a hardwired jack where the transformer got plugged into the wall and then it would run down the wall and get wired into the uh, the hardwired jack so that they could uh, feed this uh, this telephone dial tone and then feed it some voltage uh, on another pair for the light. So uh, basically uh, we'll have to talk to Nancy and see what she wants to do. Um, like all of them, this has a switch on the back of it. Um, the switch seems to, well there it goes. It's a little tough. We're going to have to, we want to clean that and maybe oil that switch just a little bit. Um, what these uh, switches do is uh, enables the telephone to either glow at night and, and be used as a, uh, a night light in a situation or, uh, you know, so you could see the telephone at all times or you could switch it in the other position and the light would only light when you would pick up the handset and then you could see what you were wanting to dial. And I noticed the dial is a little, it, it's returning, but you can hear that. So the dial is going to have to be gone through. So the dial uh, has got to be taken apart and worked on and cleaned. But uh, anyway, along with probably a lot of things here, but uh, it's, it's in pretty clean condition. Um, I don't see any real major uh, rust issue or, you know, mistreatment or anything like this. This phone's in good shape, and uh, the pad's in real good shape, and so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a keeper, and uh, it's a really nice telephone. So we're going to talk to Nancy about this and figure out what she wants to do, but at this point... Um, this telephone is never going to light unless there's a transformer feeding this light bulb. And um, in the past what we've done sometimes because the transformers for these weren't the greatest and they would run hot all the time. And I believe there was a company that made some aftermarket transformers that actually were catching on fire. So what we have done in the past is uh, we've done a super bright LED in here um, in the light and removed the light and put a super bright LED and ran a different transformer to the telephone and that way uh, you didn't have the heating up of the transformer. The transformers that ran these telephones um, even if they weren't plugged in or connected to the telephone would be hot and uh, they just it's just their nature to run hot and because uh, they can be just plugged into the wall and you just get hot and um, that's not a good ideal if you have any kind of curtains or any bedding or anything around uh, these transformers when you have them plugged in um, it's not that you can't use one it's just that you need to be careful because this equipment is getting older and um, you know, you just got to keep an eye on those transformers if you're if you're going to use one. So basically, what we're going to do is uh, get this telephone back together again after we talk to Nancy and figure out what she wants to do with it and how she wants to handle the the, the different problems that we're going to have with this. But this is a really cool telephone, and um, you don't see these pink ones too often. They are floating around, you, you, you know, they're around, but uh, it's not often that you see them, so it's cool to see these, and uh, they're kind of a unique color, and um, they're really nice, and we get calls about these all the time, people wanting the uh, Princess Telephones, Trim Lines, 2500 sets, basically all the Western Electric equipment uh, people are always searching for. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959.